I never thought of it as a great voice. Very throaty, chesty. The sound that I often use is difficult for engineers because it blends in with the band. If I'm reading copy, it's a problem. Usually I will automatically raise my, my, my pitch, bring it up into my mouth more, not in my throat. I get up a little higher, and if I stay in this range, I can work in this range. I don't like the feeling I, of it. I don't like the, the sound of it, but it cuts through a mix. I mean, when I get it down in here, you know, it's difficult to hear me buried. It gets a little sexy for us <laughs> right down here. You can lose some of the flavor of the, of the worms. You don't have the clarity. If you want clarity, of course, you can get in here. You can start biting it, too. Get mean with it. Get very mean. <laughs> This summer, check your weapons, take your seat, and say your prayers. We got the whole world in his hand. From Jerry Bruckheimer, the producer of The Rock, Nicholas Cage, John Cusack, John Malkovich. On June 6th, Woo! buckle up. Con Air. Um, I like being a narrator. You know, it has something to it. Instead of just being a, a voice of a poison. It doesn't have the right kind of body to it. I don't want it to mean it because it's certainly been good to me. You know, it certainly has been good to me. And I've done all kinds of work. Long form, short form, you know, program stuff. There was a program at ABC, and I would do the intro. I would do a commercial during the course of the program, and then I would take it off, sign off. I had worked for all the networks, and, and started doing the same for cable. For a and I was their spokesman for it. I think I did them for two or three years. Not only doing the spots. An a and &E special presentation. Money, power, and privilege. Palm Beach. He opens, the closes, the bumpers, the billboards, yeah, etc. That can really accumulate when you're doing a few different shows for them, you know. You get stuff like Mercedes Benz, which I did. You get associated with Mercedes Benz, you've got a class. When you do uh, Carter's Little Dipper Pills, however, you're at the other end of it. And I've done those, and in between what you apply to your rectum when it's sore. I even did the condoms way back when, the, just the mention of that word Trojans was horrifying. I was also doing Chevrolet, I think, at the time. And they requested that I, I get myself <laughs> off the cover condom. I used to forget them as quick as I had done them. I undervalued them. Audiences everywhere are coming back for seconds. Can you make it rain food again, please? Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs is the number one movie in America. Two weeks in a row. No big deal. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Faded PG in 3D and IMAX 3D. When you go to the studio to work, you had the art director there, the writer, you had the producer who was working on the spot, one of the account people. You may have had the... Uh, the account supervisor. In a world where laughter was king. Uh, no, in a world. They're watching through the glass, and that's something you have to get used to. The difficult thing is not just them watching, but they would all have different opinions. So you'd have to do the line several different ways. Kevin Costner, Dennis Hopper, Gene Triplehorn. Waterworld. 
first, Sarah, we were just talking about the stories that I used to read to her. Do you remember some of the titles? Oh, yes, all the Shel Silverstein books, the BFGs, Where the Sidewalk Ends. She'll remember. Story time was, was pretty fabulous. The other cool thing was that when I was little, before they had ISDN lines and all of that stuff, I mean, he didn't work from home. He would go into the city, and during that time, my whole connection to him was through, through the TV, you know? Like, his, his commercials and his trailers and whatever. Once upon a time is how these stories usually begin. However, this particular tale begins with... Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We got rid of her in three days, eight hours and 47 minutes. That's the final straw. There is only one solution for children like these. And it will not... be pretty. Good evening. I am Nanny McPhee. This, my gutcus, my uh, 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 my diaphragm, really, my lower parts, give it, give my voice a support that gives it resonance, and not necessarily to create a character, but to give it some balls. <clears throat> Look directly into the screen. What are you gonna do? Kill all. Live free or die hard. You did not just see a giant alien worm. A saint. You did not just see a singing dog. Imagine that. Meet the fuckers. But on July 3rd, you will see The Holiday. The 40-year-old virgin. Felicity. Alexander the Great. Cats at the Winter Garden Theater. The premiere episode of Dawson's Creek. Men in Black 2. Lethal Weapon 2. This time, they're not taking any crap. It is PG-13, and theater's July 3rd. <clears throat> it's always in need of clearing, you know. It's always verging on hoarseness. It's rarely crystal clear. So much so that that's become my voice. <clears throat> <clears throat> like that, <clears throat> you know, but to keep clearing it. But if I don't worry about clearing it, as much, and just say, well, this is what you get. It's how I sound. It's a unique sound. It's my sound. And for a lot of stuff, it's okay. <laughs> 